Hi guys, Matt here from Divi Framework and today I'm gonna to give you a quick overview about how we use our Gravity Form Styler to style your Gravity Forms using Divi. Okay, so here we're on MRK websites and we can see that I've inserted a simple Gravity Form. And at the moment, the button looks a bit ugly, it's just the standard square things. So what I'm gonna do is go to my plugins and you can see that I've got the ultimate gravity form style for Divi and I'm just gonna click activate. Now, once I've activated this, if you do have caching or anything like that, do make sure to clear that cache up. So that activation takes place and immediately I go back to my contact page, click refresh and look at that. I've got a whole bunch of styling added. I've got my button down here I've got my monthly newsletter and all this information looks fantastic. Now that's just a standard setup. You just turn it on, away you go. However, you might wanna customize that. To do that, you use the theme customizer. So I'm gonna go up to where my website name is and click theme customizer. And we can go into the theme customizer to do all sorts of different things. Now what I'm gonna do from here is click on ultimate gravity form style. And that opens up here and I've got things like general. This is where I could do a background color, for example. So if I wanna do like a green, I can do that. And you'll see that that updates the page and now I've got this quite interesting green. All right, I'm gonna clear that out. You can put a background image on. Now remember, as you change this, this is for every single form on your site, okay? So I might wanna change the padding. Say I want some more top padding, I wanna increase that, I can do that, or I can set it all the way down to zero. So that's where you control that padding for that particular form. So that's all the general items. Then I've got the title, and here I can control what I wanna do with the title. I can change what font it is, what font size it is, the weight, title color, and remember, these are the standard items. Further down, I've got the description. This is the description text. If you choose to turn that on with your gravity form, that's where you control that one. Labels. These are the labels over each of your items. Again, this is just standard sort of styling here that we've got. And then of course, I've got the input itself. Uh, you've got the line height, the font, all those sorts of things. Uh, then we go down to the form button, and this is where I set my button. Okay, so I've set a blue and a green here. Um, they're all kind of standard items there. You've got the button font collars, hovers, you know, all that kind of stuff. And you've even got padding down the bottom there that you can add in. Finally, uh, we've got our progress bars where you can set the custom for that. Um, this is the default colors. If you want to form border, you can do that also. And then your error box. So when the error gets described, do you want to customize that? You can do it right here. And then when you're finished, you just click on the publish button up the top there and you're ready to go. I'm really happy with the way that this form looks now. And that means everywhere I put this in my website, all my forms are styled whenever I'm using in Gravity Form. It's a great result and makes it really easy for me then just to focus once I've got the styler on, I can just focus on building my forms instead of having to style them every single time I insert them. That's it for this quick video introduction to the Gravity Form Styler from Divi Framework. It's a premium product, so do become a premium member and I hope you can make use of some great form styles here with the Ultimate Gravity Form Styler.